The name of the movie is Deliver Them from Evil, the Taking of Alta View, and it's, as Kathy said, well, you, you saw it, uh, why don't you set it up? Well, I, it's uh, basically a true story, right, based mm -hmm. on, on what happened in uh, Utah, City. Mm -hmm. and it's, uh, most of the characters are Mormon, I would mm -hmm. think. It's a Mormon hospital? Mm -hmm. No, it's just a regular hospital, but um, this man, all the Mormon people up there all have about 10 or 15 children each. This woman had had 10 kids, and she had an operation at her tube site. Which so, she asked for. Yeah, and then the husband came in and decided to hold uh, the doctor hostage and all the people at the maternity hospital hostage. Because he wanted another baby. Right. And because and they already said, had eight children. Ten. Right? Ten. But you know, but it's, a very, um, he said. it's a very male-dominated society, that whole Mormon thing. I mean, the men are the guys, uh, you know, they... Men are the, the guys, rules. yeah. The men are the guys. They make the rules, and the women uh, do what they're told. And the fact that she made this decision on her own made him crazy. But I think, really, the problem is that people... Because uh, I, I learned a little bit about this guy. I mean, he, it's just a, amazing, the story that he went in there with a gun and threatened people, and there Bomb. were babies in there. And um, that he was abused as a child. And um, then it, it just made him violent, too. And I think all these... That's the thing that we all have to learn from it's all this It's a cycle we can't seem to break. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, and then we just uh, executed someone in California, and he had the mm -hmm. same thing. He was abused, and he became a violent person. And to murder this man, I don't think it's, it's not going to deter anybody else from... Is he now on death row, this guy that... Uh, oh, yeah. No, no. Um, but the one in the movie. The one in the movie, no. He got, I think, 35 years in prison. Who plays uh, that character? Harry Hamlin. Harry Hamlin. And I've never yeah. seen him in a role like this, nor have I seen no, you in, in a... really excellent You're both in very, very good in it. The it's whole a difficult good. part for him, you know, all of us. Now, are you happy with this? Yes, are Regis. You? Good. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, good. I just, you know, you never know. Well, I was, you know, when I was trying to... I have to tell Frank, who everybody is, if you don't have a number, I have to explain to him. So yeah. we were going to watch the movie, and I said, you've seen her in this movie. And he says, oh, yeah, I like her a lot. But, but this is a serious, you know, serious drama. And he was used to seeing him in lighter, sort of romantic type fare. So which do you prefer? Now, you've done both. Whatever the good part is, I guess. If there's a part for a woman that's, that's written, a, that's good, that has some levels to it. But there's not very many of those. Sometimes they're comedies and sometimes they're not. Mm. You held this baby. It must have been several different babies during well, shooting for hours and hours and 14 hours. Fourteen babies a day because the babies can only work an hour at a time. So they kept bringing in the fresh babies. And, and, <laughs> and, and they're all so funny. You know, 14 so different babies. Well, some of them were quiet. <laughs> but some of them, you know, they're all so different and they're only three weeks old. So, you know, they, they're not just like, I thought they'd be like little eggplants or something. But they were... Um, <laughs> little personalities. All oh, of them. Yeah. Some of them pushing, some of them would stare at me, some of them would laugh. Did it make said, you oh. want to have your own little gar? Yeah, see, I knew you would ask this question, because that's the so kind of person that you are. One. It's, it's a natural question. Oh. I'm sure the whole audience wants to know how that affected you as a woman. Did it give you the maternal instinct? Yes! Okay, that's all we wanted to know was a simple yes! <laughs> well, it would have given you the maternal instinct. Well, I've had that maternal no, instinct for a long time. <laughs> Let's take a look at a cliff, all right? You're a nurse being held hostage in this paternity ward. Uh, you're reflecting on your life as you face possible death. Deeply religious woman. Yes, here we go. Have you noticed how good these babies have been? They've never gotten really upset. Not at the gunfire. Not at the screaming. Yes, I'm afraid. I'm not afraid of dying. In the few moments of quiet we've had, I just prayed. I think about how lucky I am. To have a husband who's my best friend. To have a family that truly loves me and... the wonderful life I've led. I think that's a very needy scene. Yes, indeed. Oh, it's this. Well, it's on uh, Tuesday night, April 28th, on uh, CBS, Deliver Them from Evil. Terry, always great having you here. It's nice Hope to be here. you get your clothes back. They found her luggage. Oh, they found her luggage. Oh, they Bye. found her luggage. Good. Right back with great lawn products in a moment. Tomorrow on Live, Country Great Wine on a Judd.